COVID-19, of course, impacting our world as we know it. And one way that survivors have been able to help new COVID patients is through their antibodies. ABC 6 News Good Morning reporter Samantha Boring is in studio to tell us how one New York woman took her positive COVID test to create a community for survivors. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning, Rachel and Brianna. Diane Barrent is the founder of Survivor Corps, and she actually created it in her bedroom during isolation when she was positive with COVID back in March. Before the pandemic hit, Barrent was a professional photographer, but Survivor Corps quickly became a full-time job for her. Starting on Facebook, the group has grown to more than 80,000 members, people looking for comfort and community when experiencing the impacts of COVID. I realized we, if we gathered together as a community in solidarity, that we could truly change the shape of, the, we could change the course of this pandemic. We could change the shape of history. Survivor Corps also provides help to COVID survivors through their website. They offer help on how to donate your antibodies to help other people going through COVID. Survivor Corps calls the people that donate superheroes. We have turned um, something that could very well be a stigma into people posting their donation selfies as a badge of honor. And it is giving people a light at the end of the tunnel during their darkest, scariest moments. Survivor Corps is working with organizations like Indiana University on COVID research with survivors. Here in Rochester, people have shared their experiences with donating plasma at the Mayo Clinic on the Facebook group. Rachel, Brianna? Oh, very cool. I like mm -hmm. anytime you can bring people together who have all been through yeah. something similar, I think it's great. And kudos to her for taking on this feat yeah. with 80,000 members. That's, that's no easy task. That's a big, big deal. Yeah.